Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of The Bridge Project. Thank you for all the feedback on the previous episode. Um, I'm not going to be doing a proper let's play on this, I'm just going to be doing maybe a couple of videos a week um, because the game isn't that long, I don't think there's too many levels in total and I also felt like maybe it would get a bit boring watching me build bridges over and over again so what I think I'm going to do is show you the bridges and then show you them each time I go to test it so I'm not going to show you all the stuff in between um, where I'm thinking about it and you know changing around the things that I've placed down so we're just going to sort of skip to all the good stuff and the problem we had last episode with this drawbridge was that this thing right here in the middle you have to right click on it and you have to change it to an open joint so normally it's like that that means it's fixed and then if we change it to an open joint it means that we can uh, separate this when we want to pull it apart so you can see we've got our pistons on either side and if we go to test this then we can see it in action it should work I tested it a moment ago um, it looks awful because of all the stress but um, you can see there it's it's faded away a little bit, it does look bad, but um, this bridge should do. And I've also found out that you can do your own custom tests on the bridge as well. Uh, maybe we'll do that on the next one because it's going to interrupt the test that we're doing at the moment. We don't really want to do it twice. And there you go, you can see there's a ton of stress on this side over here. Um, I think what it needs is an extra support strut down to that bit there, but it seems to be holding out for now. And the bridge is going back. Mm, it's holding out <laughs> only just and you know what we could have another support beam going across the top to connect up there and <laughs> that is an absolute disaster <laughs> I don't know if you saw it there but it this bus here sort of poked out that metal rod I don't know where from um, and then everything kind of fell apart so I'm not sure what happened if maybe the stress um, broke it at a different point uh, and it seems like the test hasn't ended because I was going to click on the custom one. Let's do that again. Manual tests. Now we can test it in an earthquake. <laughs> How long does this go on for? Hmm, interesting. Uh, what else? A windstorm, a ship. Uh, we can even send a tank over. Oh, look. Uh, we could send... Let's send over six tanks. <laughs> this is going to be awful. Uh, <laughs> do you know what? It's actually holding out. It actually withstood six tanks. That is interesting. Do you know what? I, I can see myself getting a little bit of extra life out of this game, you know, setting myself some challenges. Because um, you could go into a world, like a level that you've already completed, and say, right, I'm only allowed to use this many materials, spend this much money, and I've got to, you know, do my own test. So, that's pretty cool. Anyway, I'm going to edit this bridge, try and make it a little stronger I think what I said I wanted to do is add a support strut across the middle now I think I've actually run out of materials but I'll figure all of that out uh, there we go we have 35 does that go all the way across no iron only goes halfway across okay okay I have sneakily removed some materials from the back over here and uh, I put in the extra support struts on the bottom so hopefully that'll help I was going to put some like this in the middle and have it go across the top as well um, but unfortunately we're going to fall short of the materials there so let's delete that and try this again and it doesn't look very promising it's got a lot of stress like it did last time and I think if this doesn't work what I might have to do is you see this bit at the back here maybe sort of lower it and make it come up at a, um, a gentle angle so it meets up with this bit over here a little bit later and maybe that would work and what is happening with our test? Is it me or is nothing happening? Run official tests. Okay, normally I don't have to click on that. That's strange. Let's see, we've got four cars first of all, then the buses, and then the bridge. Didn't the bridge? <laughs> the drawbridge, the um, the boat. I thought the boat went second last time, yeah. Oh, it goes... Mm. Ignore me. <laughs> I'm looking at it the wrong way. Okay, so that's fine plenty of room for it to go through there. Now let's see what happens with the bus. Hopefully it won't <laughs> fall apart again. I do not think this is going to work though. And there it goes, it knocked out a piece of metal at the beginning again. I know what it is. And we passed the test right as I figured out what was wrong with that. We have cross beams that go across the middle. Look where the cursor is right there. Uh, they were on the front on that side, but not on the other side over here. 
and that is something you can do with the advanced editing that's available I'll show you that let's go to raw map number six ah now this looks like a challenge right here um, so what do we have to do okay we have two anchor points there and there and then one slightly higher but doesn't look like we have one in the middle that tower would lead me to think that we did but we don't so this is going to be a very challenging bridge anyway the thing that I wanted to explain quickly was that we select the woods and then I just draw some beams like that you can see there's just two beams on either side if we go into the advanced editing which I've forgotten how to get to building options expert mode um, you see these crossbars here that didn't work that time okay now it has crossbars when I go down so on that previous bridge what it had was the crossbars in the way and that's why uh, the bus hit it on the one side so that is something else that I have to look out for so this one here was driving me mad for a little while I was looking at the amount of materials that we have you can see I've used all of the wood so um, there was quite a lot of that and all of the iron is gone which is strange because I haven't used any if you ever look around that is weird because um, I was using some of that before I decided to use this wood anyway um, I was scratching my head a bit how on earth do we do this one and then I was moving the camera around to have a look and I noticed that there is actually an anchor point up there so it just wasn't visible from this side really and um, when you put your mouse over it you can kind of see it getting highlighted there and that makes a lot of sense I was wondering why is there this big tower in the middle and no anchor point up there um, so what we've done now is use the two anchor points on this side to kind of extend out over to this here so we can then hold up the next bit of the bridge and that's where our suspension cables go down to so I've got a feeling this is probably gonna pass the first two tests but the third one might be a bit tricky that is the train and the train is very heavy okay so looking good now what I'll, ooh, <laughs> that was a bit loud on my speakers let's turn that down um, what I like about this is that it seems really even on e either side the way the stress is split which is good it seems like this is being really well held up by those suspension cables okay so this is the test that I think we might fail the moment of truth if you like although we have used up pretty much all of our materials oh that was not good was it <laughs> okay well I think I know what we need to do I think maybe we need to add some cable from the middle bit over to the side there um, I'm not really sure if this is a good thing to do because the cables hold things up well when they're sort of directly below the point but the further out to the side you go the less um, yeah, the less effective they are so what it might actually do is kind of pull on that area and not really provide us any extra support so the buses let's see how they do a mm, little more stress than last time I think and then the cars should be fine be nice if we could speed this up a little faster we are on the fastest simulation speed though very good there go the cars and look at them disappear <laughs> okay now for the big test the train and oh it's looking alright no it's not <laughs> right as I said it it's not is it that was a complete and utter fail well we don't have a lot of materials to work with um, look the iron has mysteriously appeared I could have sworn that last time we looked at that um, there was less of it and do you know what I've just noticed we've got these suspension cables so I think what we could possibly be should be doing is using those oh god let's cancel that select that oh no that didn't work yeah the uh, controls are a little bit strange sometimes they do work sometimes they don't there we go so I want to remove all of that no it's not working <laughs> there we go yeah with the suspension cables I think what we can do is go from these anchor points to the ones up there is it going to connect yep and we need that nice and slack that doesn't look very good at all does it and then just do the same thing on the other side nice and slack and then we can use those regular cables to go down like that and then that's not really centered I don't think this is gonna work either <laughs> it looks awful <laughs> okay right yeah I need to go back to the drawing board with this well this one had me scratching in my head for a while and in the end I decided just to use the suspension cables to go from 
the anchor points on either side and then connect it all with cables which I don't really like the way it looks it doesn't look very good however I done a little bit of a test a moment ago and it looks like it might hold out one thing I might need to do is add more anchor points on the road at the bottom though maybe that way I can support it better um, it's putting a lot of stress on these ones here which are sort of closest to being vertical as well and you know I can see this is going to fail if this is red already and we've got a train to come across here well it's not going to go good is it and there is a very limited amount of materials to build this with as well it's only the cables you have a lot of which is like why I decided to do it with just those and you know what that actually <laughs> it said I completed that no way I was just about to say, actually done pretty good to hold out, but um, apparently that is passable. <laughs> so I will take that and move on to the next level. Uh, let's have a look, what's the challenge here? So we have a boat, so we're going to be using pistons for a drawbridge. And we have a lot of anchor points back there, that's interesting. And uh, plenty of steel, a roadway, and lots of iron, so I think we're looking for a big bridge and possibly possibly in the middle here we might have a bigger system with the pistons uh, there might be a large boat coming through uh, but I guess I'm gonna have to find out okay let's take a look at what we have here um, I put a support beam going up on the first anchor point on either side and then I've used the ones behind it to try and uh, give it some support at the top there and then that leans out to this bit um, so it's like uh, how can you say we're holding up this bit here from this side that's fine but then we need to extend over a little bit so that we can get this bit as well so I put that beam across the middle there and I'm hoping um, that any stress that is caused by this bit will be kind of pushed onto this middle bit <laughs> I don't know I need I need to learn some more technical terms for this stuff it's ridiculous I'm trying to explain it when uh, you don't know them but that doesn't look very good that red platform there and another problem is that oh god <laughs> Um, I took out a cross section. There shouldn't have been one there. I thought I checked that and got rid of all of the cross sections because um, it kept making them on these bits. And this is what I was worried about. This is slightly larger than when I'd done this last time, although it seems to be fine. In fact, I think this is going to hold out. Yeah, that looks good. <laughs> okay, cool. And so now we have five cars and then four buses. I, I think this is going to be fine. And, I don't know, maybe you could improve the design a little bit. You see, because I'm recording the videos for you guys, I don't really have the time to play around with this. When I played it a long time ago, I used to experiment so much, you know, try out different um, designs. And, oh, that's pulling it close. And this is made using steel. And the thing with steel is, every time I've used it, um, it goes red like this. And it looks like it's about to fall apart, and it doesn't, which is cool. It always seems to hang in there, so... And there we go, that's another level done right there. Awesome. <laughs> and another thing I've been thinking about doing as well is investigating if there is any custom levels or anything like that in the game because uh, they used to be on the old ones. So it'd be interesting to see if there is. I know there's a level editor, so I can make my own levels. Um, maybe you'll be able to share other people's levels as well. Okay, this looks similar to the last one, except it looks like we've got more anchor points to work with. Ah, now this one looks fun. See, I don't really like the ones with the uh, suspension cables and stuff. I don't really like using those. Um, but let's have a look at the materials that we have. So, not a lot of steel, but mainly iron. Um, hmm, I think what we're going to have to go with on this one is an arc underneath the road, which would be nice. I haven't tried that yet. And the thing with an arc is, um, when the pressure is applied to it, it kind of gets distributed if the shape is right. So, if you have a perfect arc it kind of distributes all the stress evenly um, again just <laughs> unable to find the right words to describe that um, but it could be the wrong approach because we have these anchor points on the side here but we also got them back here so I could do the thing where we go high up again and then bring out some beams to hold it up in the middle um, but I do want to try the arc underneath first so we are about to test this bridge I've been playing this for a while now and I've kind of run out of time this game is actually really time consuming to play um, I built a lot of bridges, tried a lot of different things, 
uh, mainly with woods. You see, we have a lot of wood to use here. So what I was doing was building um, arcs and you know connecting all the little dots up together, so it was nice and well supported. And I actually had one really nice bridge that had like a perfect arc, and it looked really good. And uh, unfortunately, it failed the last test, which is the train, which you'd expect. That's a lot heavier. So um, hopefully this will pass. We do have some steel in there. You can see where I'm pointing at. They're the steel beams, so they create a nice anchor point there on either side so hopefully that will help um, but I reckon when we get to the trains it's going to fail but anyway this is going to be the last test for this episode if we pass or not I'm just I don't have the time to continue playing really uh, but let me know if you want to see more by leaving a like or a comment and um, the feedback is really appreciated and if you guys keep leaving feedback saying you want more then I'll keep making more of this because um, I do really enjoy this game however it is very time consuming so if you guys are going to be watching the videos then I'm happy to do that and you know what? It looks like it might pass. Uh, one beam fell down there. <laughs> and I think it has to take three of those. No, it was just the one. Oh, well, that's it. We end on a good note there. So let's have a sneak peek at the next level as well before we go. There we go. And the next level, rule map number nine. I think there's 12 of each on each one. And this is interesting. We have concrete here. I don't know what on earth that does. This is interesting. Okay, it looks like it could be fairly straightforward, but we have this concrete, so how do we use that? It looks like we can put in some custom anchor points down the bottom. That is interesting. So anyway, we'll, we'll be checking that out in the next episode. So as always, thank you for watching, and I will catch you next time.